Good evening, good afternoon, and have I got a video for you today. So, I have noticed there's been a lot of people asking how villagers work in LEGO Fortnite, so I'm going to go through what the villagers do and how to get certain villagers, all of the villagers, in fact, throughout LEGO Fortnite and where they spawn, how to get them, etc, etc. But if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, comment down below on and tell me which villages you're looking for in your fortnite world uh lego fortnite world and who you think are the best villages in the lego fortnite worlds also hit that notification icon if you want to if you want to stay up to date with the shorts and videos coming up on this channel i'm going to be doing a whole series on how to's for lego fortnite because i think it's going to be super useful for a lot of people to to find out because there's been a lot of questions going around about it because obviously it's still very new also if you're enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, the best things you can do is obviously what I've said before, but also use creator code Danconia in the Fortnite item shop if you're going to be purchasing any skins, etc. in Fortnite, because believe me, that supports the channel a massive amount. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So you can have five villagers per village. It depends on the level of your village, how many villages you can have, but for the full five villages, you will need to have a level 10 village. In your LEGO Fortnite world, you can have three villages as a maximum. So that means across your three villages, if you count them together, you can have a maximum of 15 villages. This means that you can spread your villages out a little bit. And you are going to need to do this if you want a variety of different villages to turn up to your villages. Because they don't spawn all in the same region. And they all have different rarities. So let's go through these villages then and explain how they work. So your starter villagers, you've got the tutorial, which is Cuddle Team Leader, of course. But the first person that will probably visit you is Bright Bomber. She is in any biome at the start of the game. She is the first person on the list to probably come and take a visit. Now, then we have the common category of villagers. These villagers will visit your village randomly in any biome and when they do you have the option to recruit them if you have space you must have a free bed in your village and meet their requirements that they like outline to uh, be allowed to recruit them otherwise they will just stay the night so these villages are hayseed sunflower spark plug sprocket aura donna rowan robin sky otis and blue squire they can appear at any time and they will just visit you and then you can just recruit them. That's completely up to you who obviously you recruit. But remember, you have that maximum of five per village. So then this is when things get a little bit more complicated. So uncommon villagers are slightly more difficult to come across by. If you're going to try and get these villagers, you either need to do exploring or you need to be upgrading your village. Now, how do you upgrade your village? simply by building within your village limits doesn't matter what you build but keep building and you will level up your village quite quickly uncommon villagers are these and i'm going to go through any biome ones first so fish stick lion brand those two can visit you in any biome but can also be found by exploring and recruiting them in your lego fortnite world but then some become isolated by region. So Gus, Sawyer and Petra, you can only find in the drylands via exploration or visiting. So you'll have to have a village in the drylands or you have to, you'll have to explore in the drylands to find them. That's very crucial to some of these. Sally Sails and Salty, you can only find on shores. So you have to go to sea areas to get these people again it's via exploration or visiting so they could visit you but if you want to guarantee them just explore and find them and then you can get them in your village and lastly yeti yeti as you would expect is in the frostlands via exploration or visiting so again you'd need a village there or you'd need to explore to go and find the yeti then we have a step up to rare villages so any biome rare villages are basically Silas, I haven't seen Silas yet, which is quite funny. So Silas, Raptor, Rex, Tabby, Meow Schools, Beef Boss, and Peely. And I know there's been a lot of people asking about Meow Schools. These people will visit your village in any biome 
and that will give you the chance to recruit them. You cannot find them by exploring, they will just visit. Now there are sp some region specific visitors as well. So in the dry lands, Flint and Nugget will visit you. Rex will also visit you. And if they visit, you will only find them in the dry lands in a dry lands village. But if they do visit, then you have the chance to recruit them. Then in the frost lands, Snowcap and Slush. So if you have a frost lands village, they are more likely to show up there and you can recruit them there. They won't come to your grasslands or your drylands villages because it's not their area. Then we have another step up. This is where things get real grindy. So these are your legendary villages. These are the rarest villages in the game. These villages, none of them will randomly visit your village. They will not visit you. You have to go and find them, explore the region that they're in, find them, recruit them, and then bring them back. You cannot have them randomly visit your village. So, in the grasslands, crystal is obtainable by exploration. In the drylands, you have mazy, calamity, and rustler. They will also be found by our exploration. If you go to a shore area, you can find black heart or car reef. Again, fire exploration and finding them. They won't visit you. And then lastly, in the frostlands, you have Polar Peely and Frozen Fistic. I cannot say his name for my life. I don't know why. My voice will not do it. But again, you have to go to the Frostlands and explore and find them and bring them back. They will not visit your village. I cannot emphasize that enough. Not a single legendary villager will visit you randomly. You have to go and find them yourself. The rarest villages to just visit will be obviously the rare villages. So that's why so many people are kind of maybe not seeing Meow Schools early on. I got lucky, but Meow Schools will turn up along with Beef Boss and Peely and the others in this rare category via you just grinding the game out, keep building in your village, leveling it up. And the more you level it up, the more attractive your village becomes to these rarer villagers like Meow Schools and Tabby etc and i can imagine i i know exactly how the the allure is for like getting things like meow schools or beef boss or peely they're iconic to fortnite and that's how you get them and believe me they're well worth it to grind out for because they give you a lot of resources beef boss i've had him on food in my village and he's doing great meow schools gets a ton of materials for exploring so they're really worth doing and I think what I will do for my personal playthrough is have villages in different regions to see the different villages that turn up because I have in my village already Peely, Beef Boss, Meow Schools. Um, I also have Aura and Sky. There we go. I got there in the end. So that's what I would recommend for, for getting these villages and whichever one you want. But it's a case of grinding the game out for things like Meow Schools, but those legendary villages are simply a case of exploring certain regions. That's all you can do. And some of these extra villages that are in the uh, in the uncommon category, like the Yeti, like Fish Stick, the normal one, Lion Brand, all of them in the rare category, actually, you can find by exploration, or there is a chance they will visit the relevant biome villager. So... There's plenty of resources online. I hope this video has helped with kind of defining how villagers work and and how to get a certain villager in your village if you want them. I know there's been a lot of people asking in comments, etc. So I hope this help helps. If it did, again, like, subscribe, comment, etc. I did all that at the start of the video. And I really appreciate all the support on the video and the channel as a whole. If you enjoyed this, stay tuned for more because I will be doing more how-tos, etc. in my shorts mainly, but also probably videos as well for LEGO Fortnite and possibly other stuff as well. But I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.